Yeah, and so let me go to my Democratic strategist on the other side, uh, poli well, uh, pollster uh, and uh, podcaster extraordinaire, uh, Fernand, because it is five states. Like, it's a lot of different states all sort of rolled up into one. But it does seem that the, the Republican Party here has made a calculation that the strategy is to just run up the score with white voters and to do it using race and to be pretty bl blunt about it, pretty overt about it. You know, we've talked about it, Joy. They are using an open race war because, unfortunately, from their perspective, their theory of the case is they've got to maximize that 67 percent of the white vote and try and get as many of those out there because they're just not going to make as many inroads with black voters, African-American voters and suburban white women voters. And it's interesting to see now we have the results of early voting in through this morning. Yep. The Democrats have virtually caught up to the Republicans. And a lot of people like to talk about the Bradley effect. Mm -hmm. Well, we may have to talk about something new called the Jolly effect, because anecdotally, we are seeing lots of Republicans like David Jolly saying this time around, we cannot support this. We're going to go straight ticket Democrat. And I think that's belying some of these numbers. There are a lot of Republicans and certainly independents that are voting Democrat. That's not necessarily being reflected in the polls. I think that's why we're seeing the beginning of this wave start to materialize here in Florida. It is three. Um, is the Democratic Party here, the coordinated campaigns, are the two campaigns doing better than normal in that? You know, I think they are. Uh, we didn't see those signs early in the process, which was, I think a lot of folks were concerned if you're on the Democratic side. But that's starting to change. And I think they've put so much of this intensity, Joy, in these last 72 hours. Mm -hmm. Just as alone yesterday as a Florida voter, I got five text messages from the Florida Democratic Party asking me if I hadn't voted yet. They noticed I hadn't voted. So clearly they've got their eyes on the thing. I got a robocall from Diddy. <laughs> 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 Hey. Which is always a good thing. <laughs> yeah. And you're talking about legalizing weed, which is really interesting language, like colloquial yeah. language to motivate your low-intensity voter. Right? Yeah. You know, yeah. What makes this such an exhilarating and terrifying election, it's a moral crossroads for the United States because this racial aspect of the campaign is so out in the open. There's no thinly veiled element to it. It can't be talked about in polite company. It's not happening anymore. We're going to find out, Joy, on Wednesday morning what path the United States has chosen and why Florida and microcosm really represent the perfect proxy battle for that battle. Yeah. Are we going to be a country of diversity and unity and tolerance, or are we going to go down the path of Donald Trump? Uh, and I think that's the question so many of us are, are anxious about on yeah. Wednesday morning. Well,